Yo what is going on everybody it's Conventicle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school runescape and today I'm going to be showing you guys a special video for the new design your own skill contest that Jagex is hosting so if you like this idea then please remember to support it in the comment section and in the rating section by leaving thumbs up and stuff and if you don't like any of the ideas that I presented then please tell me why in the comment section below so we can do the best in order to get a good skill into the game so my skill that I'm presenting to you guys today is swimming so as you can see the swimming animation is already added into the game so we're off to a pretty decent start here might need a little touching up upon but it's better than nothing I guess so for this video there isn't gonna be much I can show you guys on screen because I'm not like a really good graphical effects artist or whatever but uh just wanted to discuss my ideas here and um i will have some images on screen that i can show you guys to where you might be able to swim and stuff on the map but other than that uh just listen to what i'm saying here and uh right now i'm just going to do an overview of the swimming skill and all the subcategories it has so the first subcategory is shortcuts and by using these you can swim from one body of land to another quickly the next one is tropical resource islands and you can swim to these islands and find resources such as like ores and trees that you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else in the game or just um, resources that are uncommon. The next thing is scuba diving and what you can do with this is go underwater like you do in the recipe for disaster quest and you can um, swim to sunken ships and loot from the treasure chests that they have if you have a high enough thieving level. The next thing is items where I'm going to be discussing items you would use in order to swim and also things that you can get from using the swimming skill. And those are all the subcategories so let's get into the first one. So on the screen as you can see I'm going to be discussing some places where you can swim from one place to another quickly aka use a shortcut. So the first one is from Remington to Karamja aka Musa Point. Uh, this really isn't too efficient but uh, better than nothing I guess. Probably Probably just the beginning level one. The next one is from Palnavich to Narda, um, right uh, over the river. So I know that river is really long and there's only like two bridges, so it would be pretty efficient to swim across those. The next one is Shiloh Village. So um, this is right next to it. Instead of having to go all the way around, you can just easily swim across the river right there. And the last one is from Alcarid to Lumbridge. And these are just a couple ideas of shortcuts. You don't have to agree with every one, but um, certainly there may be other more efficient places on the map where you could put shortcuts to make people be able to get around a little bit easier with this new swimming skill. All right, so let's move on to the next subcategory. Here we have the tropical resource islands where you're going to be able to get things such as ores, um, find teak and mahogany trees that you can use to make planks, um, or maybe uh, kill some monsters that aren't found anywhere else and that drop special items that um, specifically go to swimming skill. Um, so the first one right here is right next to Yanil and um, yeah, that's it right there to the right of Yanil and Nightmare Zone. Next one is uh, a little west of Brimhaven near the Golden Rocks. The next one right here is under the Barbarian Agil Agility Training. And the last one right here is in the wilderness to the east. And basically at this island, I would uh, say that you can fish these new rock crabs or whatever. I don't really know much about the this food, but apparently they're the best food in the game now. And you, this is lower in the wilderness than the other spot where you can fish them from. And this would be efficient because if you have the swimming level, then you can get there faster and you won't be in as high of a wilderness. Alright, so the next one is the training courses. So this is pretty much going to be like agility training, I guess, and this might not be the only way you can level the swimming skill at the moment, but uh, this is just what I have. So it's basically like an agility training course, and what you do is you swim from platform to platform, and you have to like dodge buoys and stuff like that. And basically on these training courses, there are like fish in the water that might that might attack you and you know make you have to take damage or whatever so you're gonna need food for that 
and maybe if you like stumble on something or whatever then you're gonna lose health but uh yeah so it's pretty much like an agility training course but it's gonna be in the water and there's platforms that you have to swim to in order to level your um swimming level so the first one right here is next to Sinclair Mansion which is near Camelot. Um, the next one is uh, south of Bastrian Falls which is the place where I made the first clip in the video if you are familiar with that. And another place where you could put one of these swimming courses would be next to the Mort Myers Swamp and Dig Site. So that's pretty much all the ideas for the training courses I have. And the next part is the scuba diving. So basically for this you would have to dive off of these ports and you would also have to have the items from the recipe for disaster pirate repeat part of the quest um, in order to scuba dive and you'd have to have that part of the quest complete in order to do this. So the first one is next to Port Kazard and this is going to make these ports actually have a value in having them into the game so you know uh, this is where you would uh, have probably an efficient money making method because there's a deposit thing right next to the port. The next one is in Catherby. The next one is in Musa Point right off the port there. And the last one would be in Port Serum. So basically the higher level you are the more uh, scuba diving places you can go, the more training places you can go, and the more shortcuts you can take or tropical resource islands you can go to. So now let's get into the final subcategory which is items. So the main item that you would use for swimming is something called swimming fins. Now I, I already know that there are flippers added into the game from that um, Moger subquest or whatever so you could either keep those in the game and give them a swimming bonus and then add all these new swimming fins uh, based off that item or you could just do a completely different item so basically what these swimming fins are are something that you put on your feet or maybe your hands and they increase your swimming speed um, at 0% swimming speed you would be like walking speed and at 100% swimming speed you would be like you're running but in the water if you know what I'm saying so if you are not equipping these then you're gonna be swimming at regular walking speed the first uh, swimming fins would be leather swimming fins that you would be able to make with like say 30 crafting and these increase your swimming speed by 50%. And in order to use these you would need 10 swimming. The next one is snake skin fins and you would need 25 swimming in order to use this and they would increase your speed by 30% and you would need 50 crafting to make them. The next thing is green dragon hide swimming fins and you would need 40 swimming to use these and they would increase your swimming speed by 40% and you would need 64 crafting. And as you can already see on screen I already have all the levels and what percentage of speed is increased on screen right here so you can just look at that and just want to touch upon the last one which is a lava scale and dragon hide swimming fins so basically it would be lava swimming fins and and you can use these in order to swim in cold waters and maybe you would use these in order to get to an island that is um, north in the snow area of the map and you would be able to swim through like icy waters or whatever and these would increase your swimming speed 100% so it would be like you're swimming at running speed you would need a level 80 swimming to use this and 90 crafting in order to make this the next item is a swimming potion and it's um, increases your swimming level by three. It can't be used in order to like uh, swim to new locations such as uh, courses and shortcuts that you don't have the level to swim to yet. And in order to make this you would need a catentine and a ground raw shark meat. So the main purpose for using this potion would probably be to evade the fish in the water so you know the higher swimming level the easier you can evade these fish that may attack you so you're not going to be using as much food. And that's pretty much it for my presentation. If there are any um, opinions that you have, then please share them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave it some support so we can get the idea out there and maybe get the skill implemented into the game. So, you know, thank you guys for watching. If you have anything you didn't like about this presentation, then uh, please leave a comment below. I read all comments and I definitely consider the ones with constructive criticism even if they're like hating comments so you know thank you guys for watching please support the idea if you like it and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed peace